Hello friends, welcome to our second week of online learning. This week for our problem of the day, we're going to have two problems every day. I'll work through the first problem with your help, and then you'll get to work through the second problem all on your own. Okay, so my first problem is I had $12. I spent seven of them at the store. How many dollars do I have left? So I'll grab my tool, and I heard in my story that I started with $12, so I'm going to count out 12 pieces of cereal. Help me count out my 12 pieces of cereal. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's my twelve dollars. And I heard in the story that I spent seven of those dollars. I know that if I've spent some money, I don't have that money anymore. So that tells me I need to take away seven of my pieces of cereal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then my problem asks me how many dollars I have left. To figure that out, I can count the pieces of cereal I have left. One, two, three, four, five. Now that I've solved my problem with my tool, I can represent it on my board. Grab my marker. So my problem started with me having $12. I counted those pieces of cereal out. That means I'm going to have to label them with numbers as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've represented those twelve pieces of cereal, twelve dollars that I took out. Then I took some away because I knew that I spent that money. I'm going to cross out seven pieces of cereal to represent the seven dollars that I spent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've crossed those out because I didn't have them anymore. And then the last thing I did was count the pieces of cereal I had left over. That means I have to go back and label those ones with numbers as well. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put a box around my answer so that I can look at this problem and very easily see what I had left over. Next, I'm going to write a number sentence that matches what I did. I started with $12.00. I spent seven of them. I took them away. That means I need a minus sign, seven dollars. And that left me with five dollars left over. So my number sentence is 12 minus seven equals five. The last thing I need to do is label what I did with my, with my words. So I know that I had twelve dollars. I know that I spent these seven dollars, so I'm going to write seven dollars spent so that I can look up there and I know what those mean. And then I had five dollars left. So I represented everything I did and then I went back and I labeled them with numbers. So it's very easy to see what my representation means. Now you're going to get to hear a problem two times, then you'll get to represent it on your own. When you're done representing, take a picture of your representation and send it to your teacher so that you can be earning those yellow tickets. All right, your problem is, I had 31 seeds. I planted 29 of those seeds. How many seeds do I have left? Listen again. I had 31 seeds. I planted 29 of those seeds. How many seeds do I have left? All right, mathematicians, go ahead and start solving with your tools and then represent.